Hi guys, today we'll talk about aphids, one of the most common pests that attack orchids. If you don't know what aphids are, or if you're worried about some symptoms, new symptoms that are your orchids showing, maybe it could be aphids. So if you notice some white dust on the top of the leaves of your orchid, or when you touch them, they are very sticky to the touch, and you'll notice that your flowers are distorted, some of the leaves as well could be a little bit distorted. All of these are signs of aphids. I've talked a lot about thrips before. <laughs> The video today is not about thrips because I do have another infestation, yay! Every time you have a huge collection of plants, you are prone to infection or pests as well. It's normal, natural, it happens to most of all. I'm not gonna say all of us because, you know, we don't know, our conditions are different, but likely that you have problems with some pests and aphids is one of them, especially when the weather becomes warmer, we have more insects around, so I have a very good example here, that's this beautiful cattleya that I love so much and so dear to me. And it has a huge infection of aphids, so it's a perfect opportunity to show you how to treat it, what aphids are, and what I'm going to do about it. So as you've probably seen right now, I have all of the dust that I told you. That's basically because the aphids, they shed part of their skin. Skin. <laughs> Since they are infected, they don't have skin like us, but it sheds part of their body and leaves it behind. That's it's what this white dust that you see. Uh, why the leaves, why they become so sticky? It's because aphids, they will suck substance from your plant, all of the sugars that your plant produces to keep themselves and their flowers healthy. So aphids will suck that, but they cannot digest all of the honeydew, so they extract, they leave the honeydew behind. Basically, they pull <laughs> honeydew on the leaves of your plant. That's why the leaves become thick. So it's full of residues that they couldn't digest. Why it's important for you to treat aphids? If you leave it on your plants, although they are not as difficult to treat as other pests, such as thrips, they multiply very, very fast, and they will start propagate and moving to other plants inside your home. Then it will become more difficult for you to treat. I had this issue last year. It's not pleasant because one of the things that aphids do, they munch, they suck the sugars and destroy your flowers, you will have, your blooms will be gone sooner than you expected, uh, the flowers will look distorted, you may not have as many flowers as you'd like because they will munch on some of the buds, they destroy buds of my flowers before. Another thing is they also carry virus. So they can huh, give your plants some virus and usually virus are not treatable so they don't have any cure and they can kill your plant. Because of the amount of honeydew that they suck and they live on the leaves, the surface of the leaves, you can you are also prone to have more fungi, so some fungals that can multiply on the leaves and destroy the tissue of your leaves. Another thing is, since it's sucking so many substances that are very important for your plant to mature and grow, it can affect the metabolism of your orchid and you may not have as plants that are as healthier as they used to be. So if you have plants that are not as strong as others, you can even lose that plant. And again, they multiply very, very fast. So what should you do? In this case, as I'm showing you, this plant has a thousand of aphids on its flowers. Usually is the first place that I find. I find aphids, it's on the flowers and buds of my plants, especially because these are the region that will produce more sugar to attract insects that will pollinate this plant. So aphids will go straight there and we will attack it. 
but they can also be found underneath the leaves so for you to find it first go to the flowers if they are not on the flowers look underneath the leaves and if they are affecting the flowers already they are definitely on your orchid as well so you need to inspect the whole plant and you need to treat luckily for us aphids are very easy to treat compared to other pests one of the things that you can do is rinse the plant with soap and water it will be effective even even plain water if you shower your plant it may help remember that some plants especially newer groves they need to dry out very well otherwise they can rot but other things that you can do is use uh, alcohol so isopropyl alcohol to clean the leaves and the flowers and i do have some oil with alcohol that i use that's the leaf shine that i use with my other orchids so in this case here that's what i'm gonna do it's very important that you clean the whole surface of your plant the plants that i inserted the stick pesticide they don't have aphids so which means that it, it's effective for aphids as well since it is very strong <laughs> And if it's effective for thrips, definitely effective for aphids. So what I'm going to do here is I will cut these flowers because they are almost gone and they are all infected. So there is nothing that I can do about these flowers at the moment. Now I'm going to grab my spray and I've started cleaning all of these leaves from the top, the bottom. I make sure that everything is clean. It needs to be properly cleaned because I don't want to have aphids on this anymore. And I will place it back to its place, but it's very important that you also check all of the other plants that will be very close to this one. It's very likely that you have aphids, especially if the amount of the aphids that I have on these flowers, I may have aphids around. Why I didn't spot it sooner? because I have visits here for two weeks and in two weeks that happened so it multiplies very very fast as I said that's why I'm gonna show you how I clean all these plants I'm probably showing you it already and what I need to do with this plant I'm not very very worried because I knew that I filmed that for you before I have a ton of roots outside the pot and I have two newer growths that are sprouting so in a few weeks time I will repot this plant, it needs to be repotted immediately. It's my chance to insert some pesticides inside the spot and to keep a knife close to it to make sure I don't have aphids munching or any other pests munching, munching on these precious orchids of mine. But after we clean everything, we are basically done. Aphids Again, it's in a very easy pest to treat because you can see them. If you clean everything that you see around, likely that you have to maybe spray twice and keep an eye to see if nothing else sprouts and you probably will get rid of, of the whole colony. But remember to inspect all of the orchids around as well. Very, very important. I can see that I have sign of aphids in other orchids. So I have to basically clean everything and make sure that they don't come back. They don't return. So next week I will inspect everything again. And hopefully I will have a collection completely clean of aphids. Let me know if this video helped you. Have you ever had a infestation of aphids before? And also like the video, leave a comment down below and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye!